So uh, today, I think uh, we got the customer and our some distribution, the uh, our dealer. Okay, um, at this uh today webinar training. Okay, so are you excited about this today topic? Just uh, if you if you interested, yeah, uh, you just say five, okay, or you say one like that for me also can. Okay, so uh, for the rest one, I okay, thank you, T. Okay, oh, so today's uh topic we're interested are uh, <laughs> okay uh okay so um right now i know that the all are uh, under the uh, pandemic uh situation so uh all under pressures okay so and uh, today i hope that the topics if you today your your in your pocket is empty so i make sure you today you will bring some few keys and few points and some bullets bring back to your companies and you can gain more customer and gain your sales. Okay. Are you interested? If you're interested, you just give me say one. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, people answer you. <laughs> uh, the rest don't wanna accept who only. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I think I just uh today we start our webinars uh already begin and uh I will share my slide to you before uh okay we we learn, uh, also want to take uh, some bullets back to your company uh. okay very good uh. okay at least you very clear about today what you're attending uh, the the topics that uh that we share today. Okay, so uh, let's start uh, about today's topic. Uh, today we cover the topic. Previously, we covered uh, the most topic, and today we cover the Shopee integration. So, uh, in the Shopee integration, I would like to give you the first slide. I want to know uh, if your company right now is under on the left hand side or my right hand side. Can you give me, uh, you just open or close uh, for the customer? Uh, uh, for our distribution, no need. Uh. <laughs> okay, uh, just let us know uh, your, your in the this uh, which situation. And I know uh, some of the state is already uh, going to the stage three already. And uh, some of it is, and our client value is still uh, very so charm. Uh, so we still in the phase one. Okay, a lot of companies in the client value area still in the at my right hand side, like what I know. Okay. Uh, so the rest one, how is it about your situations in other region? Okay, close. Oh, okay. Muta also close. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So I do believe that it's right now all is closed. Lah. Okay. So in under pandemic area, right? So a lot of the cases. And last night it will be, as you see, very scary about the figure. Okay. 21,000 about COVID case everywhere, okay? You go to everywhere, you're going out and going back to home, you need to spray for your whole body, okay? So this is very scary uh, and you can uh, get that, uh, okay? Uh, so uh, just uh, stay safe and always uh, keep clean and uh, sanitize yourself, okay? Uh, so I'm not a KKM, uh, so just take care, take care, okay? Uh, and then I uh, just want to Okay, so uh, the next one I want to share with you. So a lot of the this one does not mention is uh, under pandemic areas, and uh, okay, so you cannot open up the shops and uh, you don't have a sales. Okay, and I do believe that in the other regions like Penang and like Sarawak. Okay, I do believe they already in a stage two and stage three already. Okay, but if you see if the stage two and stage three, how about the customer? Is it they need to going out and buy the thing, go to your shop and buy the things? Are they very bravely to going out to buy the item? Or they through which 
which way to purchase the item. Okay, so this is today the topic related that the customer will come to this platform and buy your things. Okay, or oh, I just interviewed previously before for my few customer. Or oh, I don't know. Okay, I don't know how to start. Or oh, I need to wait until the government announced that to the stage two and stage three. Okay, I never mind. It's okay. I think uh this uh these three situations is very common right now in uh this uh pandemic uh era right now. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, I think I should share with you right. Uh, I just uh found it in the newspaper last two uh last, I think last Monday. I just found this uh, breaking news. And I can share with you uh, this, I also get shots. Okay, so if you are uh, closed, uh, shop are closing, right? Okay, but I can tell you. So this news, I also get shots. Why is the dimension? They say the SME is still lacking on the online marketing and e-commerce. Okay, for those, they don't know how to start and they don't know how to start and they don't know what else to this, uh, how to do the online. They can go to online and explore. Okay. Even though me myself, I'm the consumer, I'm the buy, I'm the seller, I don't know at all. So you can learn from this way. Okay. From I can I can let you know from the last year until this year, uh, the seller in uh the seller, the statistics was increasing. And also the um, the sales, uh, I can share with you. The uh, the next one I want uh, to share with you is uh, this. Okay, so at my left hand side here is on the, I capture from the screen, uh, is from our Prime Minister Department of the Statistic Malaysia. And you can see, okay, for uh, our customer and our dealer, uh, you can let your friend or your customer know. And you can see my like, left hand side here, from the quarter one until quarter four, the, uh, I mean the figure uh, and the percentage is, is increasing, okay? So what I can tell you, the platform online uh, is already right now offline. Uh, nobody, people do, uh, don't want to do it offline, and, uh, offline anymore. They were moving slowly to the online or they prefer for online and offline. Okay. And my right hand side here. Okay. You have, can see that it's a, one of the statistic is a top 10 site of the uh, site in the customer. So as we can see in the Shopee here is a top one. Okay, and the top two, it will be the Lazada and the next one will be the PGMO and Zara and goes on. Okay, so what's the today topics that related, okay, that you can see right now today's ready is a link to Shopee, right? So uh, I do believe that our customers, uh, they already have a uh, Shopee store or Lazada store. Okay, I just want to ask how many people that, uh, uh, I mean the customer are not our distribution, uh, uh, how many people know that our smart diner mode is can link to Shopee and Lazada? Can let me know. You can type me chat box there. Ah, okay, okay. Then uh, Grace uh, mentioned yes. Then who mentioned yes? Okay, all I think uh, all will know lah. Okay, but not technically. Oh, Mokta say, uh, not technically. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I can tell you, our diner mode can link to Shopee and Lazada store. Okay. So this is what I can tell you. And today's topic also, uh, we will teach. Uh, we will giving the example the Shopee link integration. Okay. And uh, since where I mentioned that you can link, then how about the next? Uh, wait, uh, hang on, I think some technical issues. Okay, so the next one I want to share with you. If you go online store, okay, you will definitely hate it about the just now I mentioned here. Okay, so the first one, how about your quantity issues? Are you selling in your online store and you got the Dynamo? There's no integration. Are you need to key in and grab all your orders and coming back to our dynamo and re-enter again. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, and I was uh, interviewed with my customer before that. Uh, they got the headache about this quantity issues. Uh, they said, I need to every day, every time, or any time, I need to upload all my stock. Okay, so these are quantity issues. 
Ah, so I don't know about yours. Okay, so this is what I get from the interview from my few customers. Okay, they will hate it about this quantity. Okay, then the second one, the selling price. Ah, are you the selling price? Is the same price with your stock uh, at your shop or in online store? I think definitely not. Okay, you know, because uh, you know, as a Shopee or Lazada, they have a commission, right? So after they sell, you sell one of the item, they, they deduct your commission at their platform. So I do believe that the selling price also one of the concerns. Okay, so at, at your platform and sync to Dynamo. But at here, we can uh, help you to solving your this issue also. Okay, then the third one, as I mentioned, the double entry. Are you feeling that if you know integrations today, okay, one entry, you need to take how many second or how many uh how many minutes i give you example two minutes three minutes okay per entry uh how about if you got a lot huge of the orders how many what's the time that you need to finish all the data entry at my right hand side here ah uh, so this is the one at uh, this one and double entry is very very dangerous and i can tell you this is a human error mistake and uh, always uh, your stock it might be caused by stock mistake and it will stop uh, caused by the bigger mistake and at the end you will get a hair wire okay this is i can tell you if uh, no link you will face up this issue okay so the next one i would like to share with you is the, about the accounting problem okay how about if you got the reconsult from the shopee or lazada definitely you need to do the reconsult in your system right so today uh, if you got integration to our dynamo Okay, I do believe that your accounting will be uh, solving. So, uh, so this is one of it. You are helping on your on these parts. Okay, then the next one, the stock issue. Okay, the stock issues that mentioned. Are you want to upload all your products to the Shopee or Lazada, or you want to upload some products to the Shopee? Ah, or you need to re-enter again. You enter one time in the Dynamo, and you need to re-enter again to the uh, your Shopee or Lazada. Okay, so today I can tell you right, uh, all these uh, problems right in the comments that happen in your operations right now. Um, today we we can uh, after you attend these uh, trainings, uh, so you can bring some all the all the this one the bullets huh? we call the bullets and going back to your companies. Okay, if uh, you if your integrations are uh, integrated to the Dynamo system, okay. For those uh, they don't uh, they don't integrate it yet, so you still need to have a manual work. So uh, the problem that you are face, uh, you also you also may face up this issue that I mentioned. Maybe you say today Ming Yang, I'm not so much of the orders. Okay, I sense a few. Okay, it's fine. When you have a huge orders, you may feel it. Ah, okay. So uh, okay, let's see about the chats. Ah, huh? okay. Uh, Grace Chia later I will. I will uh, answer your questions uh, the, about the, this uh, the description in Dynamo difference with the wish to show in Shopee. Okay, later uh, in the session Q&A, we will uh, answer your questions. Uh. Okay, uh, we will take it down. Okay, uh, okay let's uh, short it, cut it short. Okay, today's um, you're coming in so for the Shopee integration, right? So I just uh, stop share at here for a little bit about the benefits uh, today for the Dynamo's integration to Shopee. Uh, okay. So today, uh, as we we make it short, okay, let's invite our specialist trainer today, Chen Fat, to give us the uh, trainings, okay, and uh, give you all some bullets, huh? Okay. So, uh, Chen Fat, pass okay. it to you. Okay. Thanks, Amin. Yeah. Thanks for opening. Well. Uh. Thank okay. you. Good morning, everyone. Okay. So now I will start the presentation for the Shopee integration. Okay, so th this is uh, today we will start about the Dynamo, our online module for the Shopee integration. Okay, first today we will, uh, I will cover the Shopee store setup and then the Shopee store management and the add new stock for the Shopee store. So the first one, we will talk about the how we do the integration at 
with the Shopee. So we first we will do the we I will start about the Shopee st store setup and then how to integrate the Shopee store, how to do the Shopee store uh, sales order and invoice setting, and then the Shopee store process manager setting. Okay. So the first one, actually the online module for the Shopee is under the online store, Shopee, and then the setup Shopee store here. You can see we will get this uh, screen. So actually, uh, if you are our direct customer. So actually when implement here, we will help you to set up and then we'll, uh, before we set up, we will ask you some of the question to do this setting. <laughs> so here we, if let's say here for store ID, it actually is a, to set up. If let's say you've got few store here, we actually we will uh, define at the system here to let system know you've got how many store. If let's say you've got Shopee, uh, you've got two or three store at the Shopee there. Here we will set a uh, few two or three store ID here. Maybe uh, Shopee A, Shopee B, Shopee C like that. Lah. Okay, for here you have to take note if, uh, if you let's say you set here a uh, store ID here. One you set actually cannot edit. Lah, but the description here, uh, the name here you can change. So have to take note if let's say you got set up the store ID. Store ID. Okay, for here, Actually here, it also got the active. If let's say the store, maybe if you got few store, one of the store uh, actually is not uh, no longer exists or it maybe uh, closed out already. So you want to uh, inactive. So here we can inactive the setting. The next one, we will do the generate authorization for the code. So here, this one, this part actually is uh, we do the integration with the Shopee there. So once you click here, you will get the this kind of the setting. Actually, here we we'll, uh, prompt up the browser to let you to select your Shopee is registered under uh, which country, and then you have to fill in your seller set uh, your seller center account login account maybe by email, phone, or username. Then you key in the password. Okay, the next one uh, is about the verification. Actually, if this one actually is a uh, depends on the user setting on their seller center data. Some of the user maybe don't need this verification. Some of the user maybe need, but for the latest one, uh, they will need it, this verification. Once you, uh, just now, once you click this one, login, you will get uh, the phone OTP, then you key in the, number to here, then you verify. Okay, so when you verify, then here we will see this one. You, uh, this one is uh, our smart app Shopee sync setting. So you just click the Shopee, uh, this one, uh, confirm authorization. Then you will come to the screen. Here you can see your Shopee shop ID. You just click on copy to clipboard. Okay, after you click it, actually, here, uh, you just copy and this one and paste to the our Dynamo, the Shopee store set up there. You paste to shop ID here. But before you paste, you have to edit first. Uh, Cause just now you already set, uh, you save already uh, when you click the, uh, get the authorization code that one. So once you edit, then you have to paste to the shop ID here. Okay, once you paste just now, then you click more again, you get the shop info. So you get the shop info actually, what you key in at the, your seller center, the shop profile there, what you key in on the shop description, you will get same as the shop name, shop description, and the country here, same as the setting you do. Okay. The next one, we will do the setting for the sales order and customer invoice setting. Here, you have to take note, if let's say the invoice you generate or create, you want to put under which customer ID. So actually here, if let's say you, uh, you, you, key in, you set up this customer ID, all the Shopee invoice will under this customer ID. If let's say here I put Shopee, so all the invoice will generate or, uh, generate or create the invoice will under this ID. 
And then here you have to set, you want to include the shipping fee on the invoice or not. So here you can, uh, depends on your site. If let's say you don't want, you can untake, then the invoice will not show the shipping fee. So if let's say you want to put the shipping fee, the shipping fee, you want to put the stock ID or not. So this one, you either can set the stock ID or the one to set also can. If you know set, then when you generate the invoice, the I, this one shipping fee will not uh, got the stock ID. And the Shopee voucher coin and credit card promotion here, you also can, uh, you want to include at the invoice or sales order also uh, can set, you want to set it or not. So three of this uh, item, you also can set the stock ID. So later I will show you the sample. If let's say you got set or you know set this one, you will show how. So here uh, is the setting for the this one, sales order and customer invoice setting. Okay. So actually here we also got a one more setting is the generic customer invoice setting. If let's say some of the user that want to run the auto generate, auto uh, system auto create the invoice for you. So you can set this status when the Shopee status until which status. So the system will auto generate the invoice or you can manually to click the generate invoice. So later I will show you what is the difference on the, this setting. So here you let's say, uh, based on this one, uh, I got set three status. That means when the order on ready to ship or ship, or completed, the system will uh, depends on the setting here to generate the invoice. If let's say uh, when the order already under the ready to ship, they will generate generate the invoice. Huh? But it will not once the ready to ship when the status update to the ship is it will not uh, generate again. Uh, this either one to to generate invoice only. So uh, this one either when the it, in, uh, the status until which status they will generate the invoice. So maybe cause some of the user they will skip this, then they will maybe uh, when generate the invoice, the, maybe the setting or to run the general invoice, maybe uh, close out it. So the status update to the ship already. So that's why here we set field to standby if let's say uh, the status updated, but the system not yet to generate. That's why here we uh, we set few few uh, status. Actually, this one, if let's say you don't want to set so much, maybe you can set completed is enough. Uh. But if let's say some of the user, some of the merchant, they want to give the invoice to the yeah, customer. So maybe they can set on ready to ship to generate, generate the invoice. Uh. So they can print up the invoice together with the parcel. So uh, this one location actually it depends. Uh, if let's say the invoice you, if let's say the location you select HQ. So here when uh, the invoice generated, the invoice will under the HQ and then the stock also will deduct from the HQ. That's why here the location you have to take note for this one. And then the invoice prefix we can set the invoice follow the Shopee order ID or our dynamic document prefix. If you set the document prefix, then you have to select, uh, maybe you got one of the setting, one of the document number, running number is for the Shopee, then you can select. Lo. Okay, for take note, for here, uh, our dynamic is allowed to set the, uh, the invoice follow the time, and follow the year month setting for Shopee only. Uh. So if let's say you got set this one like December, so when generate invoice, you follow the year and month. Okay, for example here. Okay, you can see this one. Uh. <clears throat> okay, you see this one, the order is July. That's why when the invoice generate, you will follow the July uh, document running number. If let's say August, 
Okay, August we will follow August running number. So that's why here for Shopee only available to do this at the moment. So the next one, we will do the process manager setting. Okay, this one process manager setting is set on the server there or the main PC there to let the program to auto to download the product from your Shopee store. And then we will match the your Shopee SKU with the Dynamo store ID and then match all the SKU with your Dynamo barcode also. So if let's say your Shopee, the SKU is a Dynamo stock ID, you will measure. If let's say your Shopee SKU is barcode, same as your Dynamo barcode. So you have to take this one as well. So when download to the Dynamo there, you will match together. So the matching is important. Now, if you don't have to the matching, uh, system will not generate the invoice for you by automatically. And then the stock also will not deduct to uh, by at the dynamo there. That means you order sell the item at the Shopee there. When download the order to the dynamo there, if let's say you don't have matching, then dynamo here will not deduct the stock. Then you cannot uh, make the stock accurate. And then you can set the when you actually here you can set the order you want to start from when to download <clears throat> maybe uh you are previous user uh, previous start to use the shopee id on two, 2020 then but you start to use our system dynamo integration on 2021 so you can set you want to download the order from this date then the previous one will not download to the system no? so you can check the order on this date and then the general invoice function, you want to which date stuff to system auto generate the invoice for you. So here also can set. So this is the concept how to do the setting. <clears throat> here actually uh, process manager here, uh, also we will assist out if we, let's say you are our direct customer. Okay, here is the brief list. Just now what I said. So here actually, if let's say just now you've got set the download product, Shopee product, if, if you got check, it will download the Shopee product from the seller center to the Shopee store management there. And then if you uncheck, you will not download. La. Okay, but this one setting you have to take note. If you are the dealer there, then you have to take note. If let's say you here you got set at the Dynamo store set up there. You also have to set your process manager as well. Okay, so to match the all SKU stock ID, that means when the stock download to the Dynamo there, you will matching the Shopee parent SKU or variant SKU. And then if you no check, you will, uh, will not match. Okay, so here the stock ID and barcode actually is same. If let's say matching with the if let's say the Shopee SKU is same with the Dynamo stop barcode, you will matching. Okay. For here, the download order also. If let's say you got checked, you will download the order to our Dynamo store management there. And then order from date also. Okay. And then the generic customer invoice setting as just now mentioned also. Okay. So here, as what I just now mentioned, even you just now set at the store management there, you have to take note to set up this as well. If you know set here, system will not auto download and auto uh, generate the invoice for you. So this is the tools you have to set. Cause this one is assist you to auto download one. Okay, the second, we will cover the store management. Store management actually is under just now the online store here, Shopee. You will get the Shopee store management. So actually Shopee, we got two sub module on it. One is the Shopee store, 
and then another one is the Shopee store management. So for user, actually most on using for this one, Shopee store management only. Uh, for if let's say uh, you don't have uh, change any setting, so actually Shopee store there will not, uh, will not uh, got any changes there, then you, you will less really touch to, to there. Okay, so for here under the store management there, Actually, we got few main button at the upside. You will got the dashboard about so dashboard is like that one. Okay, for dashboard, you will see the you will see the sales, you will see the order, you will see your how many product and your top five product. You will see the dashboard like this. So the product. Product you can download the product no, to do the download product. So for the download product, actually it's a download the product from your Shopee seller center to Dynamo. This one Shopee store management. So have to take note this one Shopee product will not download to your Dynamo store manage, uh, maintenance state. So if let's say here download actually this this uh product mostly is uh, your Shopee there, you've got how many products you will download to here. So actually here you you don't uh see or uh, your product already download already. So your system will create the product at our store maintenance there. So do not uh, so have to take note. The refresh data actually is the uh, if let's say here, when your pro product screen here, either Dynamo Process Manager actually got, just now we got set the download the product from Shopee. So refresh product here, maybe we will to refresh, is it got the latest product to download or not? And then if let's say your Dynamo got uh, any stock quantity update or any stock price update. So here also we will refresh. If let's say any update from the, so this one refresh for you. So actually this one refresh data is quite good. Cost you, so you no need to close the Shopee store management screen then and log in again to this screen again. So here will let you to faster to refresh to see the data faster. Okay. And then here we got, uh, here you can see got three methods to do the matching. Okay. So if let's say uh, just now you don't have set the auto download one and don't have to do the auto matching at the just now setting. So you have to click on the match with the, uh, you have to manually to click on this tree. Lo. So here we got three method, actually it's four method. La. Three, here you can see three method. The four method is a uh, little, I will brief how to do. First one is, uh, match with the stock ID. Stock ID means uh, Dynamo will auto match the Shopee SKU with the Dynamo stock ID. If the stock ID is same, then with the Shopee SKU, then they will do matching. So you can see this one SKU and variant SKU is get from the Shopee there. The stock ID actually is the our Dynamo uh, stock ID. Actually, now the latest, uh, latest version, we can get the barcode as well. La. So you can see the barcode column at here also. So you can see if let's say the stock ID is sent, they will auto do the matching. Here you can see this one stock ID is sent with the variant SKU. So if let's say the product got variance, you have to take note the variant SKU must be sent with the stock ID. If the product don't have the variance, the Main SKU have to send with our Dynamo stock ID. So this is the setting you have to take note. If let's say not same, then system will not auto matching. Okay, the second one is a match with the barcode. If let's say the Shopee SKU there or variant SKU there is same with the our system Dynamo barcode, so it will auto matching. Okay, you can see this stock ID 
actually you can see at the store maintenance that your barcode actually is sent with the SKU. That's why here system will auto matching for you. And then this one uh, variant SKU also, the barcode is sent with the variant SKU. That's why system will do matching. So here you can see uh, actually now if let's say you download to update to the latest version, then you can see. So the barcode column here, so you no need compare like this. Huh? <clears throat> okay, another one is a match by import file. So the import file actually is the, the Excel file. So the Excel file, you have named the head, you, got, you have to put the name, the header, like AC stock ID, stop your MID, AC stop barcode. Actually here you can see Excel file to be import must consist the idea. So some, uh, sometime the, uh, the SKU or variant SKU is different with the Dynamo one. So you can download to here, then you can export the Excel from this one store management. Then you, com you put the column header like this, then you put the this one SC store ID and UN ID actually is uh, our Dynamo, uh, the store ID, la, the compulsory one. And then the barcode also is also is a Dynamo barcode, stock barcode. So this one is optional for the barcode unless you need to match the SKU with the barcode. And then the marketplace SKU. La. Marketplace SKU, you have to take note if let's say uh, your item got variance one, you have to put the variance SKU. If the item don't have the variance, you then you put the main SKU. So you put in here and then the marketplace store ID. Store ID is the just now, uh, when we start just now to set up the store, this one, the store ID. So this is the store ID you have to put. So at the Excel file, maybe uh, later you get this one, uh, slide so you can uh, download this one or download from the link this one the link so once you click you would you can get the this one uh, excel file if you don't want to get this one maybe you can create your own excel file to put the header like this also can so after you that then you just click process you will auto import and matching for you if the item already match before you want to rematch, then you have to take this one, update the mesh stock. So after you click and import again, you will update like this one. Uh, this one is actually is BU. After I update this one, it will come to be BK. So you will auto mesh again for you. So this one have to take note, you want to rematch or don't want to rematch. Okay, so this is the fourth matching method. This one actually, uh, some of the user they don't have maintained the SKU or variant SKU at the shop be there. So when download to the Dynamo store maintenance, store management here, you can see the SKU or variant SKU is empty. So system Dynamo here, cannot uh, do the matching for you. So you have to select. Uh, if let's say uh, you don't want to change or you don't want to edit at the Shopee seller center there, then you can, once the product download to the shop uh, dynamo here, then you can click this icon to select this item under which stock ID at the dynamo. After you select, then you click save so it will matching for you. So th this is the sample uh, for just now this empty, you don't have to maintain the SKU or variant SKU. Here you can see, actually it's like that. You don't have put the SKU at the variance there, or you don't have put the SKU at the parent SKU there. That's why when download to the, when download to the dynamo here, you, here you can see it's empty, that's why. So at this situation, you have to manually to install, unless you amend the 
seller center there, you insert again here, then wait the system download for you again, and then it will system matching again. Oh, you put the, unless here you maintain the SKU with the Dynamo stock barcode or stock ID or here, then when system download again, it will match again for you. Oh. So you, you don't want to match like this also can. So this one is depends on the user that you want to, uh, your site there, you want to maintain like how. Lah. So this is the method as just now mentioned, lah. the three method and plus one more is manually fill in the stock ID. Okay, so the next one will be the download the order. First, you have to click on this one. If let's say uh, some of the order you want to get latest one, maybe you can download order here again. So here actually, if let's say just now we got set the auto download, actually system will auto download lah. for you. If let's say you want to get, cause at the auto download there, I, we sometimes will set maybe 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Maybe if let's say you set 30 minutes, when the next round 30 minutes to download auto download, maybe it's quite long. You don't want to wait. You want to uh, manually to download, then you can download from here. So you once you click, it will get the latest order for you. Lo. And then the refresh data. So this is the screen to download order. Actually, when you click the download order, it will come to this screen. Okay, for here, actually the date here, we system will get the seven day at the, maybe today it's a June of uh, August, June of eight, uh, 8 of June. So here you will calculate seven day before period. So they will get from the date from 1st of June. So here, it will range by seven day la. unless you want to get more earlier a bit then you can amend the date la, if let's say you want and then the uh here after you filter this then you can click the get order okay before you click get order you can got two options you want to get the new order means here download the new order and update a system order based on the shopee store or you want the sting order status up Maybe the update the open order status. Cause here we got few status. Maybe the uh, here currently the order is under the open. So you if let's say you want just update the status only, then you just uncheck the order new order. Then you will see is it uh you will sync the update the order status only. So here by default actually is a system will auto check for you. So unless you want to uncheck, then you can uncheck. Okay. okay, so here we got the status on here. You can see open processing and completed. Open here means the order is uh, for Shopee day is uh, unpaid. Processing here, we will include like in cancel, ready to ship, reply ship, ship and to confirm receive and to return. Completed is cancel order, completed order or invalid order. So this three open processing and completed is the, our dynamo the status, order status. But here, the below here is unpaid or this one in cancel or cancel here is the order status from the Shopee. So you can go to the seller center. There you can see the order status is same is here. Lah. Okay, for here, uh, just now same here also got the refresh data. So when the screen either maybe uh, at the process manager just now there got download the order. So here you actually the screen will not auto update refresh for you ma. so you have to click on refresh data so you will get the zip cotton latest order or you order any shopee order status already updated so here you can check the zip uh, to refresh it 
maybe the status also changed already. So you click refresh, then you will see, is it uh, at the program process manager, is it got running or not? Mm -hmm. Okay, for here, also got the show cancel order. By default, the cancel order is uh, hidden. We will not show the cancel order unless you want to see is it got any cancel order then you can click and you will see the cancel status order will be here okay and then you will see on the order screen you will cut this filter dip order dip filter this one uh by default also uh for two weeks order if let's say you want to show all order cost maybe uh cost just maybe uh you start from first of January. So here actually by default you cannot see the order before this one May uh 9 of May. So you can click on show all order here and click this one search. You will list out all the order from here, or you can filter the date uh which one you want to see the order. So once you filter you will auto uh, update the screen for you okay for here the next one will be the create the customer sales order <clears throat> this one uh if let's say you want some of the user they want to create the order uh, at the sales order first then uh, if you actually this one is depend your business operation cause uh, your order to download to to create at the sales order there the sales uh, at the system still still not yet updated uh, as the cost the order at the sales order there will not uh, include at your sales there so if let's say uh, you create the sales order first then the next one you have to uh, need to import to customer invoice. If not, uh, in the cost the sales order will not deduct your inventory stock balance and then will not posting to the sales account. That's why I have to uh, import to the customer invoice after you create the sales order. Then the invoice there only will deduct your inventory balance stock and the posting to the sales account. So sales order document date actually is, if let's say you use the create customer sales order, the date will follow your computer date when you create. So uh, okay, for example, this one, uh, when you want to create the sales order, you have to take this to the order first, so this is the same order, same order. And then when you create here, the document date will follow your computer date. You will default to select the computer date. And then the customer here, you will uh, follow the, just now the store set up there. If let's say you set the Shopee, here will show the Shopee customer ID. And then the remark here, we will show the tracking number. And then the reference here will show the customer name. Your reference here will show the Shopee order ID. So the tracking number actually is the career tracking number. Lah. So if you, let's say the invoice there, you want to print up this field information, then you have to amend the report for uh, the invoice format. Lah. And then, oh uh, yeah, just now the location setting, uh, cost just now the location setting at the store set up there, you have to take note. Uh, this one is for the, this location setting actually is for the generic customer invoice. So for sales order or the create customer invoice, you will not follow this one. If let's say here you set is the one of the location is a, uh, HQ2, when you create the sales order, it will not send to put uh, under HQ2. Uh, it will put 
you will follow your default uh, company default starting there. So this one you have to take note for the sales order or create customer invoice. Because uh, here we got create sales order, create customer invoice and generate customer. So for just now the location setting is for this one, generate customer invoice only. That's why the header there, here you can see this one is for generate customer invoice only, not for the, the other two. Okay. If let's say you, okay, cause just now this assemble is same order ID. If let's say you select multiple order ID, means different order ID, systems also allow but you cannot capture the uh, system will not capture this remark or reference for you or your reference. So the details information there, you have to see, check on the channel order number there. So uh, that's why here you have to take note if let's say you select multiple different order, then here we will not show the remark or reference or your reference there. If let's say the order already generated, the sales order system will not allow to, to, to create again. That means here you can system will capture uh, this one already matched already. That's why uh, you, you cannot rematch again. That's why here uh, you, system will not have a duplicate order for the same in uh, sales order. <clears throat> Okay, the next one we will cover the create customer invoice. Actually, the create customer invoice and sales order should be same. Lah. Just uh, the invoice, as just now I mentioned, you will deduct your stock balance under the location you select and then posting to sales account. <clears throat> so this one create customer invoice also will follow the computer data. And then here, as just now mentioned, you can select same order. Then you create an invoice, you do the same uh, tracking number and the reference as the customer name. And then your reference will be the Shopee order ID. If you select multiple different order, they will same also blank for the remark reference and your reference there. So you want to capture the order is under which order I should be order ID, you have to capture on the detail there. So the invoice also same, if let's say you match ID, system will not match, you will not allow to match again. No? <clears throat> if you rematch again, they will prompt the message like this. So even the sales order or customer invoice, if let's say just now you create a customer invoice, you, you want to create uh, maybe another user they create the invoice at the same order ID, system also will prompt the message even uh, the sales order already matched, but the invoice not yet matched. So when you match, when the another user match the invoice here, system will prompt the message, this order already matched under which sales order number. <clears throat> So this is the sample. If let's say you want to, uh, by range, you can select the first one first, then you click your keyboard shift, then you will highlight all together. If let's say you want to uh, want together to match the invoice or sales order. Okay, the second method, you want to multi-select, you want to skip some of the order then you can click on first order first then you click control to select another order so this is method okay and then here the next one we will let you know what's the difference on create customer invoice and generate invoice for the create customer invoice you have to select the order idea one by one to select you would have to take and then the invoice date will follow the computer date. Okay. 
If let's say you use the generic customer invoice, you no need to take the order. Cause just now Shopee, uh, the, if let's say you create generic customer invoice, system will follow your order status to generate the invoice. Okay, for the invoice date, this one generate customer invoice, the, uh, the invoice date will be uh, follow your Shopee order date. <clears throat> so this is the setting as just now mentioned, the, the order generate invoice is based on your status, order status to generate. <clears throat> so when you click just now the generate customer invoice, you will prompt up the screen. So here you just click on general invoice. So system will capture from this date until this date. See the, this, uh, this date range is under just now three status. It will generate the invoice for you. So once you click, you will just click yes to uh, confirm to generate only. <clears throat> when you generate, when system generate, you can see the this uh, bar here. You can see how many invoice will generate, then starting to generate until from uh, the status of the process. So if let's say when after generate, here you got a message, uh, the error log to show you if let's say got error. So here you can see uh, maybe the item or the match, the, the order or the match uh, and then the product is not matched cost don't have the stock up the SKU is blank. So maybe it cannot match the stock ID with the Shopee SKU or variant SKU. That's why you cannot generate the invoice. That's why uh, this one generate invoice, you have to take note. If you say you want to use this method, your stock ID, your SKU or variant SKU must be matched with Dynamo stock ID or barcode first. If no match, then system will not generate for you. Lah. So it will come up this kind of the message for you to, so you have to take note. Okay, so after you gen the, or match the invoice, you can see here, this is the sample to after you match all the invoice. So if let's say just now, maybe the completed status you set, but don't have the mesh invoice, then you have to check back again the order. Lo. Is it this order inside the stock ID? Is it no matching or the barcode no matching? Okay, the next one, we will see how to update the price or quantity. Okay, this function, you can see on the product day or the order day also got this function. If let's say by product here, you must to choose the product first, you, which you want to update. For the orders here, you also have to select the order first, but system will check on the order inside the item to let you to update. That means here you can see it's too different. Here you have to select the product. But here, some of the user, maybe they want to uh, check today or uh, they got what item already sell on the Shopee day. Then they want to follow the order item there to update the quantity or the price to the Shopee day. Then they can use this method. Lah. Under just now the screen there, we got few method to update. So the first one for the price or quantity, you can use the new price or stock quantity, this function. But if you select this, this option, you have to check on these two column, new stock balance and new price column. For this one, you, you have to manually to key in the price which you want to update or the balance stock you want to update. Here you can see the stock price one and the stock quantity. Actually, this one is the system dynamo, the balance stock here. 
So if they say here, you can see it's the 90 ringgit and then the Shopee price is 99, 99 cent. So if let's say maybe you want to update the price to 89, 99 cent, so you can manually to type in this price to here. For here, you can see the Shopee stop balance also. So you, if let's say you want to update the balance by manually, so you have to fill in to here. Okay. The next one is a follow stock, follow company stock price or the stock quantity. So what is the company stock price for the song? Company stock price here actually is uh, your company price one. Uh, that means it's the stock maintenance there. You got price one, two, three, four, five. Uh. So if let's say for if you select this option system, you capture your uh, item the maintenance there, the price one, and the quantity will be whole company stock balance quantity. So here you can check on this one, these two column, stock price one and stock quantity. System will show, uh, you let you know, uh, this one is the system price one, and then the whole company stock here. So if let's say you want to use this option, then you can select and check on these two columns. The next one will be the location post price. For here, you have to select your location or if you select this option. So you have to let system know which location you want to use to update the price and the quantity. So maybe the location there you got maintain another price, then system will follow the price for, from the location. And then the quantity also will capture the balance from this location. So even you select this option, uh, system also, you have to check on these two columns also. You, uh, even here you see it's the stock price one and stock quantity also same as just now the uh, stock, this one uh, company stock price and stock quantity, but here, Actually, system already updated follow the your location price when you select this option and the location. And the quantity also follow the location as well. Okay. So before you after you select these three options, if let's say you want to update only quantity, then you, you take update quantity. If you no need to update the price, then you can uncheck here. So this, this two uh, option before you click update product, you have to make sure you want update which one. So if let's say uh, successfully to update the product, you will show success here. If uh, no success, it will show incomplete uh, or it will show red color, then you have to check uh, is what issue under the message there. <clears throat> and then we also got one more uh, setting for the synchronized uh, quantity to Shopee. Actually here you can see on the product there. Product there you can see you got one sync quantity to Shopee after the update price there. Okay, what is this setting? This setting actually, you can import your cash sales from the date range here. So system will capture this date range, uh, date range, the cash sales, what you sold on this, uh, this, this day. So system will based on this uh, result to capture currently system, the actual balance stock for the your option, if let's say you follow uh, select follow company, so system will capture inside the cash sale what uh, you saw on this cash sales on this state range, then system will capture the item to see ah uh, this item you still got how many uh, stock available for you to update to Shopee there, so you can see this one will show the Shopee quantity and then stock quantity is under for the company quantity there.
Okay, another option actually you also can import from all your Shopee product. Then system will capture uh, this Shopee product on your Dynamo still got how many stock. Then you can sync the quantity to the Shopee day. So this is the option. If let's say uh, you got use our post system or cash sales at our post there or use the Dynamo cash sale there. So you can capture the item, what you saw on the post system there, then update the balance to your Shopee there, Shopee marketplace. Okay, the last one, we will show you how to create the product or stock from Dynamo to the Shopee store there. Okay, at the store maintenance, stock maintenance there, you click more on your one of the product, then you can see got one of the option is add new stock to online store. You have to select this one, add to Shopee stock, uh, add to Shopee product. Then you will see system will prompt up the screen. Then you sell, you click on the select category. If let's say you are the first time to come in this screen, you better to download the category from the Shopee there. Then you select all of this category is from Shopee provide. So you have to select the category, uh, your product is under Shopee, which category. After you select, then okay, you can see uh, here behind got the green color. Green color is the last option for you. Lah. Means if let's say you're until here, that means no more the next category already. So this is the last page of the category. If let's say you want to upload the product with the image, so the image here, you have to put the URL. You cannot simply to uh, attach or upload the photo. You have to put the image URL here. So here, uh, how to get, actually once you search the product there, maybe you search a post system. So, okay. so you select one of the product, then you right click, you copy the, copy a uh, link address there, then you copy this one, or you open the image in new tab, then you copy this one, copy image address, or you can, copy this one, then put to this image URL there. So this is the thing, if let's say you, uh, for here, for Shopee, we, uh, the API is like this, uh, so to add the image URL here. And then system will auto fill in some of the general information like the product SKU, name, price, or stock quantity. Others uh, manually to fill in like the description, image URL, and the logistic. Lah. Okay, and here the product SKU actually system will capture your Dynamo stock ID, and the name here will be Dynamo description one, and the price depend you select a uh, company stock price or location stock price. If let's say you select the company stock price, you will uh, follow the, the price one. If you select the location, you will follow the location price. And then the image URL, once you click, you will prompt out the screen, then you insert the image URL. And then the quantity also depends on what you select option. So if let's say you select company, you will follow the company stock level. If let's say you select the post, location, this one, then we follow the location stock level. <clears throat> okay, for the shipping information here, you have to put the shipping field and then the weight, actually the weight, if let's say the stock maintenance there, you've got maintain the weight and the width, length and height, this one. 
system also will auto fill in for you. Okay, for where? Okay, maybe you can check on. <clears throat> okay, so if let's say just now you, you here you could put the length, height, and width, and the width system here will capture for you here and then this are uh, other option you have to manually to fill in uh. <clears throat> and then the brand and the material have to set your follow your item attribute yeah so if let's say successfully they will show okay like this uh. okay for the logistic uh, you have to set on the Shopee day seller center. Okay, the shipping setting here, you have to enable. You have to come to the seller center there. You set the shipping setting. You wish career service, you have to enable then here only uh, under this one option logistic here you only available to select hey come on okay so here hmm, the, the setting is like this to set lah. okay so if let's say successfully, you will show the product added to your Shopee, uh, to the Shopee so store seller, many, uh, seller center there. So you will see the sample as just now what I said, you will upload to the Shopee store there. So all the information, what I said just now, you will upload to here. So just now the shipping information here, uh, after we set, so it will auto enable. If let's say uh, the image they want to change, so here you also can, uh, what or other information you want to update, so it will be updated to here, unless the price and the quantity you can use Dynamo to update. Others you have to, make, uh, have to update from the seller center. So the shipping, here also, if let's say uh, just now Dynamo they only available to enable one on it. If let's say they want to enable few career service, then also have to change update at here. So this is the sample uh, on the live selling on the Shopee there. Lah. If let's say you got put this one. So all the same as the sample if let's say just now you follow the step to set this is the sample show on the live shop tip there <clears throat> okay so thank you for everyone this is uh, my presentation thank you chen fa today to sharing with us the shopee integrations so uh i think uh our our merchants i think or our distribution they have um questions here uh. so i need to go through one by one uh. i uh, okay i think the first question uh, that uh, grace chia asking um fat uh, can the description in dynamo different with the one we wish to show in shopee grace chia i think uh, typing in the chat box there uh, i think uh fat can you share with us is it uh, the can the description so, sorry Oh, hang on. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I just skip to the um, Mr. Yong, um, the second question. Uh. So, Mr. Yong is um, asking, Meng Yang, could you please uh, remember send the link e the link to download Excel or the template uh, like Fat mentioned just now. So, uh, I think uh, this one we will under uh, PM to you that sent to you the template. Um, but is it uh, inside the our Dynamo uh, import template also got this template? Fun. Don't have this one. Don't have this template. Don't have one. You have to manually to set one. Oh, manually to set one. Ah. Uh, so uh, Mr. Yong is asking got the, that the template or not. Don't have. Later, I put at the chat box there. Or maybe ah. the slide 
after the training, we will send for that for them. Uh, I think this one is based on a request date, then uh, we will PM to you. Mm -hmm. Is it okay, better or not? Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, going back to the, the question number one, uh, that uh, mm -hmm. Grace Chia asking one, the, can the description in Dynamo different with the one we wish to show in Shopee? Can you, before you just now, uh, you upload the product to the Shopee there, even the system auto capture for all your description one, so you still can amend at the screen. Maybe I show you. <laughs> So just now we set the item. Once you click the this one Shopee product, it will come up the screen. Right? So just now I mentioned is the name will follow the description one. Right? So before you click up add product, the name here you still can uh, put the name what you want now right? before you up uh, add to the product there. Add to the Shopee there. Or you also can amend at the Shopee there also can. Because some of the user, maybe they put the column ready stock in front of the name there. So they can capture the, the take the mention for the their customer. Maybe some of the user, they log into oh, this one item got ready stock. So they, they will more confident to buy your things. Huh? Okay, uh, I hope that uh, this one Grace Cha uh, asking one the questions. I uh, hope that can you can get it. Lah. Okay, as uh, our trainer Chen Fat here explained. Okay, uh, I think uh, the next one it will be the Cameron Lu. Uh. Cameron Lu, I think uh, you are same with the Mr. Young, right? You're asking try for the template, uh, the, the Excel template. Okay, so I think uh, if you need it, then uh, we will send it to you. Lah. Okay, then uh, we jump into the, from uh, this chat box, then we jump into the Q&A. Uh, q and A, I think Cameron uh, asking again, uh, uh, as we can see here, what if uh, some of the stock from HQ and some from other warehouse? Um, Cameron, are you trying to asking the, what, what's the, what's the question, uh, this? It means that the stock, some of it is done from the H, uh, HQ and some of it from the warehouse can link to same Shopee, is it? Ah, so yes. So, Chenfat, is it can it be like this? They want to select two locations. Yep. For Shopee, now available to one location only. Uh. So at the moment, only one location for the sh Shopee. Okay, uh, so I can summarize that uh, Cameron asking one is just uh, our Dynamo is a uh, versus with one location. Yeah. Sync. Uh, hmm. Okay. You're on, only one location. Okay, okay. Okay, only one location. Huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe okay. we try, cause Site Giant there, they can select two location. Maybe that's one, I think. And did they not yet enhance for that? Okay. Maybe they can lock the gate. They can call call help desk to lock the gate. Then we take note. Then she can do enhancement on Shopee or not. Okay. I think Cameron is uh try to explain that they have a stock, the stock store in the different warehouse. Okay. It will do to the Cameron asking one uh. Okay, so the next one, you will be the one time can update the stock and quantity to how many online shop? Oh, just now, sorry. Just now, she mentioned, Cameron mentioned, is it the stock store different? There's been some of the 
item from warehouse one, some of the item from warehouse two. So when they upload the product, update the update the quantity, follow the location, they select is it? Oh, that means when when you select the item at the store management there, you have to select out the item from which warehouse. Then you update there, you select the warehouse one. If let's say the item from warehouse two, then you have to select uh the item from warehouse two. Then you update to uh upload the update the quantity follow the warehouse two. Understand? It can it can, it can be done lah. The answer is yes lah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I think I just now the answer inside the QA, I say only sing for one one place only. So actually can sing for two two locations. La. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then uh, we're going to the, the second question. Also, Cameron asking one time can update price and quantity to how many online shops? Ah, he mentioned that two location or multiple location. She got multiple Shopee store. Maybe she got multiple Shopee online store. So at the at the same moment you can update together lah. If cost at the screen there, at the screen here, the Shopee store management product or order here you can select here will show all the store cost here actually got one column if let's say you got few store here all the store item will be downloaded to here then at the same time you can update together on the two shop lah. but the location as just now she mentioned is it uh one update here is it on the same same location or not if let's say same location then you can update unless they want to update the follow the company whole whole stock level company stock level so then no need to select location then they can update together no here you can actually got a actually by default here you can uh, you can got the store name here you can do the grouping store name to here. So you can see here you under maybe the store A, then you will group together. Store B will group together. So you can update together. Uh, I think Cameron, Cameron <laughs> uh, is uh, facing the issue that uh, they, they oh. have uh, some uh, store in the shop piece. I think stores are, I think quite a uh, few store uh, and Lazada and multiple warehouse. So I think their, their company, the stock is uh, quite very big. Uh. So La uh, Lazada is Lazada, another place can, it's different. This one is Shopee store management for Shopee only. Then Lazada is another screen already. Okay. Uh, hope that the Cameron, uh, you can, uh, Got it, the answer. Okay, then uh, we're going to the next one. Uh, it, okay, before going to the next one, uh, I think uh, Muilan got asking uh, just now, is it a uh, maximum how many stores mm. in the chat box there? Maximum how many locations? Uh, you're trying to asking a related the camera asking one or, or the, the question or how uh, Muilan? <laughs> Can specifically oh. okay. Cameron asked that one Lazada and Shopee cannot share the same warehouse can can share the same warehouse but maybe the warehouse there you got 10 item 10, 10 balance but you will upload 10 to Lazada 10 to Shopee lo. then the 10 I 10 balance stock is shared with Lazada and Shopee together if at the same moment, maybe Shopee there got customer buy, then maybe Lazada the balance stock is actually is a maybe no stock idea, but your your sites there still still show 10 unit for the product stock stock balance there. So maybe we'll uh, maybe got 
this situation. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, we're going to the next one. Uh, um, the question is uh, Grace Chia. Average setting generate invoice uh, when shipping status. Is it possible to set generates sales order or delivery order when uh, ready to ship so that can attach the document with the parcel when sent out to customer? Gen sales order no general set sales order if let's say you use the create sales order that one actually no follow the status you can any status also can create the sales order for the generate invoice that one only to follow the status if let's if let's say you you want to follow the status to put the invoice and the parcel together I think it's under the ready to ship. Uh, under the ready to ship, then when before you uh, send up the parcel, cost ready to ship uh, is the processing to packing the stock. That's why uh, you have to select ready to ship, not ship. Ship is the courier service. The career guy is collected your item already, or you already sent to the post Laju or uh, JNT Express already. <laughs> so here, okay, for Grace Chia. Okay, Grace Chia, help. I uh, hope that you can uh, got it your answer here, mm -hmm. uh, answer by our trainer Chen Fat. Okay, also the next one, the uh, Grace Chia also asking, can the description? Uh, different with the one I think uh, have the have to update at seller center item by item. Mm -hmm. For this one, you can select. For the description, actually, before you click add product just now, you, you still can change up. If let's say uh, after you add the product to the Shop, uh, seller center there, then you have to manually to change at the seller, uh, seller center there one by one. So this, yes, uh, actually the answer. <laughs> okay, Grace, uh, hope that you got it, the answer. And the uh, next one, it will be the um, announcement attendee. Okay, <laughs> don't anonymous. Okay, we're trying to solving your problem. Okay, uh, attendee. Uh, uh, so he, uh, this anonymous uh, atten attendee is uh, if in the Shopee product listing, the SKU have a multiple barcode and stock code. Example, color one barcode and black is another barcode. Okay, same products, uh, but different color. Thus, different barcode in single Shopee product listing. So the thing it will be done to Dynamo. Mm. If let's say like that, that means your your Shopee they could put the variance. Uh. So the variance there, the SKU you put the barcode. Lo. So the barcode must be same with the Dynamo store barcode, then should be can match together. But so how the sync will be done? So if let's say you sync from Dynamo. Sync from Dynamo, I think if let's say different barcode, you have to put the, that one you have to, if let's say, uh, the black color and number. That one, if that's the thing from the dynamo, you have to put under the stop matrix idea. You use the stop matrix, then you will generate different barcode with the option like at the same at the Shopee variance there. So that one have to maintain the stop matrix. Use the stop matrix function. So, okay. Um, uh, anonymous attendee, uh, are you okay about that? You just let us know that uh, is it answer, uh, you got it the answer or 
or how you let us know and then uh and also one questions that uh if we have a shopee store and la and also lazada store don't you have a one single e-commerce management uh which can sync and with both store in lazada and shopee yeah. is it you are trying to talking about the e-commerce uh, anonymous attendee you purchase the site channel such to maintain your Shopee and Lazada together. Then uh, at the moment, both Shopee and Lazada order will download to the Dynamo through the site giant thing. Okay, I think uh, anonymous uh, attendee, uh, we try, uh, you hope that you can get the answer uh we answer your we try our best to answer your questions like okay so i think uh that's the e-commerce uh currently we have an integrated uh with the site giant in uh with our dynamo so you can look for that uh, with the e-commerce so from the e-commerce you can synchronize to shopee and lazada okay okay so uh we come back to again to the we come back again to the this one to the chat box again uh. Uh, just now Cameron asking uh, example item A have a quantity hundreds. This quantity sharing uh, can sharing with Lazada and Shopee and system will auto deduct from Shopee and Lazada or not? Uh, Chen Fat? So sharing is to Shopee also 100 and Lazada also 100 or you want 50, 50 or 60, 40. Your, what you mean for the sharing? Uh, I think uh, Cameron is asking like example I got 100 so they want to allocations uh, 50 to Lazada oh, oh, oh no 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 I think it's like this 100 it will same deduct from one place uh, I if uh, uh, correct me uh, Cameron so which means uh, this 100 come back and deduct uh, let's say uh, Shopee I sell two then uh, Lazada Lazada I got sell two so I left 60 69. Okay, so this 69, it push back again to the Shopee and Lazada again. A am I correct, uh, Cameron? Ah, so he mentioned yes. So if let's say uh, like that, that's mean share together at the Dynamo is the same one. So they, if let's say uh, after the deduct the product, after generate the invoice or create the invoice, they will deduct the stock. So the stock after deduct the balance uh, be, become the balance. So the balance will be sync again to Shopee with the Dynamics balance. Uh. If let's say it's just now 69, so we will sync 69 to Lazada and 69 to Shopee. Lo. Okay. Uh, so uh, the next one, uh, we come back to the, again to the Q&A. Uh. So uh, Mr. Mokta uh, asking, uh, the website, uh, for the website uh, developed by uh, OpenCard, any tools uh, available sync to Dynamo? Okay, uh, I think I answered to you uh, okay, about this. Uh, actually, we do have the API. So uh, we can have the link to you about the API. Uh, we can link to your web store. So uh, need to request it, uh, the API only. We, uh, we can give you the API, the link. You can test it out before uh, project the uh, deployment. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, the rest of the audience uh, just want to, uh, is there any questions that uh, just now that uh, we try our best to answer your questions? Uh, you still got face any issues? Is it just now got any question we not yet answer your one? Maybe you can raise again. Or maybe you can request to, you want to talk, then we, we will allow you to talk. Okay, I think uh, Mr. Mokta asking API free. Uh, actually, our API, uh, we can give you a link, it's uh, free, you can test it out. But the, really, the implementation project running, uh, they will be the chargeable. Uh. That one you will be selling the API. Uh, hope that Mr. Mota, I answer your question. Uh. Thank you. He mentioned noted. Okay, and then Grisha uh, is asking: Is it the uh, to have to edit item one by one if uh, already previously Shopee seller and sync product by matching? Chamfat. 
see happy every time. Yeah, after you sing to the seller center there, you have to item by item to edit. Unless Sam just now, you can update the quantity or price by dynamo there, one shot. If let's say description or other information you want to change at the for the product, you have to uh, on item by item to edit. Uh. Okay, Grace Chia. Uh, okay, so uh, I hope that you got it the answers uh, about this. Uh, okay, how about the others, the merchants, and uh, and uh, if you are the distributions, if you still got uh, any uh, problems, right, that you face, you don't know uh, about the API, how it works, uh, we can uh, we can jot it down and uh, we let the, our team here, uh, our our Simon teams there uh, to hand uh, to let them know so that they can assist you. So uh, this is our for our distribution team from our customer team. So if you are our di uh, distribution customer or you are our smart customers, okay, I hope that uh, if you got uh, this session questions right, you still can look for them uh, uh, for me uh, and my team here. Okay, the whole team here, uh, we can, uh, can assist you on, the, on your problems. Okay, uh, am I correct, Chen Fat? <laughs> we yeah. have a system. <laughs> okay, um, okay. So, uh, is there any questions? So there many questions. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think uh quite interesting uh today's topic because uh they have uh this one uh, under pandemic um stage. So uh, a lot of people they doing uh by online and uh and we can see that uh it will be the like the eight eight nine nine ten ten like that. It will be the like um, carnival sales, okay? There will be sales increase and increase so that they, they we will feel it. We will feel it about the, this situation about the purchasing behavior, okay? Not only you, me, myself, I also target on the 88 or 99 on that day. So we on the handphone there and try as a consumer so to buy and buy, okay? Uh, I think this is a buying customer behavior, la, buying behavior, okay? Um, okay. Uh, I think um, since uh, we don't have any questions, uh, before we leave, um, I just want to share, uh, just explain to you again that the, this uh, webinar video, right, we will send to you that the email registered that today webinar. Okay, don't worry if you miss out or you go away, just not go to toilet. Okay, so if you miss out the part that uh, Chen Fat, our trainer here, explained, so don't worry. Okay, we will send to you the video uh, like the previously that we conducted. Okay, um, okay. so before we leave, uh, I want to have a final round again. So is there any problem for today's topic? Are you happy about that? If no, maybe see on next webinar. <laughs> okay, next okay, time. great, great, great. So uh, don't miss it again uh, that our this uh, webinar we will conduct from time to time. Okay, uh, you can invite your friend and come in, in and see and uh, we'll try to answer the questions that you ask, okay, from this uh, webinar. Okay, and also by end of the, this session already, so I don't want to waste uh, wasting so much of time, so it's uh, going to lunch already, lunch time. Uh? Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Yong, uh, okay, uh, for the, this one, good advice. Okay, then... Uh, so at the end, I just end up at here. And today we thanks to the all audience again and all the our dealer and our customers. And uh, and thanks to our uh, our Chen Fat trainer, uh, mm -hmm. our ex specialist yeah. uh, trainer, specialist trainer. Okay, thanks to him again. Hope that uh, you have a good happy selling and have a good business. Okay, from time to time and moving on to the next stage. Okay, so hope that to see you in the next time again okay so Thanks i end up right here okay bye bye happy friday okay, bye -bye. okay thank you bye -bye.